Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockheiner. Today's story is the CCleaner APT update. You might remember a few days ago in my video where I talked about the CCleaner supply chain attack, which was where researchers at Cisco's Talos Group found that the official CCleaner installer, the legitimate one, was actually also distributing malware. Now at the time, Avast and CCleaner hadn't given a full response to this yet. And Cisco, while they shared a lot of detail about this infected installer, they mostly only talked about the first payload, the first bit of malware, and the way it actually talked to a command and control channel. But they had also kind of sinkholed or deactivated the command and control channel. Now a couple things have happened since then. First, Avast seems to have downplayed Cisco's research at first. They claimed that other security researchers researchers in partnership with them found it before Cisco and they kind of downplayed the whole incident as not that big a deal. But since then, Cisco has released an updated post. Basically, they got access to some of the code that was on a malicious command and control server, which also included the second stage payload. Basically, if these infected machines were able to talk to a command and control server, Cisco showed what might happen to an affected machine. And this latest detail seems to prove that this is a very advanced and sophisticated attack, likely actually carried out by a nation state actor. First of all, Cisco learned this is probably a very targeted attack. Despite the fact that this infected CCleaner installer probably infected around 2.2 million users, the second stage payload only targeted uh, victims that had a very specific domain. Basically, if you had an infected machine that co connected to the command and control channel, it would see if you were from intel.com, cisco.com, vmware.com, samsung.com, and a list of around 20 other well-known big commercial companies. Only then would it actually deliver a second stage payload to you. Cisco also got their hands on this second stage payload and it's very, very sophisticated. First, it's quite obfuscated. It tries to attach itself to other legitimate programs like WinZip or maybe a semantic DLL to help hide itself and persist on an infected machine. Second of all, it has other ways for the attacker to actually recover a command and control channel if he loses command and control access. But long story short, it's a very sophisticated piece of malware that seems to specifically specifically be targeting pretty big companies, presumably to get access to intellectual property. Now, it's really hard to actually attribute malware to specific state actors, but the Cisco research also points out a few other things. First of all, in the second stage payload, there's some details that uh, point to a time zone in the People's Republic of China. That doesn't mean for sure this is Chinese malware, but it is interesting to see it referring to a uh, time code in PRC. Another interesting thing that Cisco and Kaspersky have both validated is that there seems to be some code reuse here between other known groups. A group sometimes known as Group 72 or Dark Panda, which allegedly is a Chinese threat actor. So long story short, if a supply chain attack of this scale wasn't already a concern, it's even worse now knowing that this is a very targeted attack at very big uh, corporations. It seems to be coming from a sophisticated nation state actor, and it's really good at actually trying to hide itself on machines. In any case, I thought it was a fascinating update to this supply chain attack. As I mentioned before, sophisticated supply chain attacks seem to be in vogue right now. So definitely something to worry about. If you really want uh, more technical details on this second stage malware, there's a lot of great information again in the Cisco Talos post. So I recommend you check it out. That's it for today's update. Thank you for watching.